Iran has sent a warship to the Red Sea as the important shipping route becomes increasingly militarized. On Sunday, the U.S. Navy destroyed three Houthi boats that attacked a merchant ship. Iranian-backed Houthis have vowed to attack vessels linked to Israel. Iran says its warship is there to secure shipping lanes. Let's cross over to Rasul Sardar. It joins us now from Djibouti. So how much of a game-changer is this, Rasul? Well, Iranian warships regularly, they operate in the area. So they say that they are sending their warships to secure the safety of the, the, the shipping vessels and the oil tankers. So it's not the first time that Iran is sending a warship to the Red Sea. What they, however, what matters here is the timing. So this is coming right one day after the USA has killed 10 Houthi members in the region. And right after that, we have seen that the deputy foreign minister of Houthi government in Yemen saying that the blood of Yemenis is not wasted and the prizes, the prize for that is, is high. Another Houthi spokesperson said that the US full, bears the full responsibility and the consequences. So on the top of that, um, the, 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 the defense secretary of the UK in a newspaper article said that the UK is ready to take further direct actions against the Houthis. Now we see that this threat language is dominating the, the situation here. So far, uh, the, 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 the conflict, the escalation in the Red Sea remained as a local one, despite it caused a huge disruption in maritime business here. However, that has changed after the USA killed 10 members of the, the, the of, of, of Houthis. And so far also, we have seen that the USA remained in a defensive position. But now we've seen UK and the USA are also sending more and more warships here. And there are growing concerns that if Houthis retaliate, the USA could directly hit Houthi uh, positions in Yemen, which could trigger a wider, uh, wider war in the region. Scenes like this are becoming increasingly frequent in the port of Djibouti. This U.S. missile guided destroyer is refueling before embarking on its next mission in the Red Sea. It's here with the other U.S. naval vessels to counter Houthi attacks on commercial ships that have brought the maritime traffic here to a near standstill. We've seen the decrease in what we've been monitoring uh, anywhere between 30 to about 40 percent of what the normal ship traffic is. Houthi attacks in the region have forced some of the world's largest shipping companies to suspend operations in the Red Sea. They have rerouted ships around the southern tip of Africa. 8.8 .8 million of barrels of oil are passing through the Red Sea every month. So imagine how they're going to go. They have to go all the way around Africa, and the prices are increasing. And who's, 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 who's going to pay for that prices? You know, the, the end people, the customer are going to pay uh, the prices. The U.S. has formed a multinational task force to deter Houthis from attacking commercial ships and to keep sea lanes open. But many countries that agreed to contribute to the task force didn't send warships. Houthi attacks are intensifying and the effectiveness of the coalition is being questioned. There's still a lot of unknown questions for the coalition, um, what their rules of engagement are, how many vessels are going to be a part of this, um, and how the whole entire coalition, coalition is going to work. Houthis say they are not aiming to block the strait, but only attacking ships linked to Israel. The region is now increasingly militarized. And we are afraid that this conflict will take, uh, will take over some other countries. Dozens of cargo ships are stranded at the port of Djibouti for days. Many don't know when they will get security clearance to enter the Red Sea. This is the Bab al-Mandab Strait, which separates the Arabian Peninsula from East Africa and connects the Gulf of Aden to the Red Sea. Yemen is just 29 kilometers from here. About 12% of global trade passes through this strait and almost a third of all international container traffic. Now, the U.S. is increasing its naval presence here and on the other side of the strait, the Houthis say they will continue attacking vessels linked to Israel until the killing in Gaza stops. Rasul Serdar, Al Jazeera, Bab al-Mandab Strait, Djibouti.